spiritual story time. My name is Malia. Before we get started, we will be reading a picture book today, so older children may not enjoy it as much, but everyone is welcome to join in. All right, so before we start reading, let's go ahead and sing our hello song. This is the way we say hello, say hello, say hello. This is the way we say hello so early in the morning. Great job, everyone. So the book that we will be reading today is called Frankenstein, a monstrous parody by Ludvorst, the monster. In a creepy old castle, all covered with spines, lived 12 ugly monsters in two crooked lines. In two crooked lines, they bonked their heads. Oh my goodness, do you see they're bonking their heads? Pulled out their teeth and wet their beds. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. They bit the good and gobbled the bad. Look, they stopped a robber. That's pretty good. They even tried to devour your dad. Oh dear. They left the castle each night at nine in crooked lines. Where do you think they're gonna go? Should we find out? We should, you're right. They yelled. They whined, Whoa. The ugliest one was Frankenstein. He scared people out of their socks. Wow, it's pretty intense. He could even frighten rocks. Look, that one's even running away. When he visited the zoo, animals hid and cried. And nobody knew so well how to torment Miss Devell. One bleak and dark and dismal night, Miss Devell turned on her light and whispered, Something is not right. Hmm. What do you think it is? Let's find out. Instead of shrieks and howls and groans, Frankenstein laid still. No moans. Uh-oh. Devell screeched, Call Dr. Bone, who came, then screamed, and grabbed his phone. Uh-oh. What do you think is wrong? Should we just end it there? You're right, we should keep going. And dialed, Frankenstein 1-1. Nurse, he said, his noggin's gone. All the other monsters said, it wasn't me who ate his head. Frankenstein was carried off in Dr. Bone's creaky coffin. Uh-oh, look, his head's gone. In a hearse grotesque and gory, they drove him to the laboratory. When Frankenstein awoke, he said, what's this? I have a brand new head. He looks pretty happy, don't you think? Can anyone tell me what color Frankenstein is? Green, great job. His head was hungry, so he swallowed the nursing staff. The doctor followed. He chomped the ceiling out of habit. Yum, he thought. It tastes like rabbit. Wow. He even ate a pizza guy, and so ten days quickly passed by. One stormy eve, Miss Devell said, isn't it fine? Look, they're little bats. Night to bother Frankenstein. Look, they're going to go visit their friend. That's nice. Visitors from two to four read a sign nailed to his door. The monsters gnawed the wood and then shouted, We're coming in! Look, they're so happy to see him. In they stopped, then squealed, Sweet! 
for there around them at their feet were lots of yucky treats to eat. Look, some old pizza, there's a hat. Looks like someone might be eating a spider. But what inspired the greatest ewes? There on his neck, two large screws. Oh my goodness. Miss Devell, we want to stay. But Miss Devell replied, no way. Home they trudged and bonked their heads, pulled out their teeth, and wet their beds. One bleak and dark and dismal night, Miss Devell turned on her light and shouted, Something is not right! And hoping for no more disaster, Miss Devell ran fast and faster. Oh man, what do you think is wrong? Let's find out. Oh, she pleaded, monsters, do tell me what is troubling you. All the ugly monsters said, nothing. Each had lost his head. Uh-oh. Good night, monsters. Now you cannot whine and yell. I'm going back to sleep, said Miss Devell. And she turned out the light and slammed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. I said, that's all there is. There is no more. <gasps> should we turn the page? I think we should. Wait a minute. You're leaving me in the laboratory? Where are our new heads? Where are our new screws? The end. All right. So everyone, thank you for joining me for story time today. Remember that this book is available for checkout at the library. And let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song. This is the way we say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. This is the way we say goodbye so early in the morning. Bye everyone.